Hello YouTube friends and welcome to the first ever video edition of Smashcast uh, for the Heroes of Handheld podcasty video reviewy gaming network thing. Um, this is the first ever time I've done a video for YouTube so I'm sorry if it's a bit shit. A little exclusive for you so there we go. Um, it's been well documented that my passion for video isn't quite the same as my passion for audio. But um, hopefully that won't come across in this recording and hopefully it won't stink of Colin telling me to do this rather than actual passion for the uh, for the media. No, it's alright. It's just another way of people getting involved and if you watch this video and you think, oh, this guy sounds monotone and boring but yet I want to hear more of his opinions, then you can go to heroesofhandheld.com and you can read the reviews and listen to our sort of regular weekly podcasts and all that stuff. Anyway, here is the show. When you hear the music, that probably means we're a go if I could do this right, which I probably can't. Hello and welcome to Heroes of Hand. Fuck, that's not what it's called, is it? See, this will stay in for you little video friends, but for our audio friends, that's getting edited out. Hello and welcome to Smashcast. My name is Chris and I will be your host for the next sort of 10 to 15 minutes, giving you all the latest Smash Brothers news for Wii U and 3DS. Now, you will notice that it's been a uh, little while since our last one and I wish I had an excuse. I've just been away. I've, I was in uh, Manchester for a couple of days, I was in Bournemouth for a couple of days and I, have, I just haven't had the, uh, the time to give this the dedication it deserves but now I'm back um, and I'll be taking you through all of the kind of most recent since we last spoke Smash Brothers news making some predictions getting some listeners involved all that jargon um, I've slightly redone how the show is going to be so I've kind of categorized it a bit more um, mainly for our friends watching on YouTube so you can skip to particular bits if you want um, but for the audio guys it all comes on continuous flow I suppose so what we're going to be doing is taking through some new characters um, uh, then we're going to be looking at the mechanics of play which is kind of looking at individual moves and sort of concepts and physics and stuff uh, then we'll look at the Nintendo goodies section which is the kind of new little features that they've chucked in as homages and such uh, there'll be a pitch a character which is me this week but if you'd like to get involved pitching a character then I'll tell you how to at the end of the program um, at the end of the program, at the end of the video, at the end of the podcast, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, yeah, so, let's get on with it. Uh, new characters then. Well, not a new character, but a strong character. Uh, to celebrate the release of Kirby Triple Deluxe in Japan, Sakurai announced King DDD is coming back, which is cool. King DDD uh, from the Kirby series, that penguin guy with a hammer and a cloak. Uh, he was quite fun in Brawl. He was very slow and stately. Um, but he was also very strong, and you felt when you hit someone with one of his moves, it really kind of connected, which was cool. Um, and they've said that he is going to have the sort of strongest side attack and side smash in all the Smash Bros, which is cool. Um, I hadn't played Kirby Triple Deluxe yet because, I th as far as I know, it's only out in Japan, or at least I haven't seen it out over here. So I haven't had a chance to play it. Um, I'm hoping it's good. I imagine it is, and I don't know what his kind of contact is in the game, but it's good that that he's coming back because I kind of thought he wouldn't be in it to be honest. Um, the other character who was kind of potentially announced, mm, sort of announced, I'm going to put a picture up in the article and in the video if I can work out how to do it, is a leak that's come out of Palutena from Kid Icarus Uprising standing next to Super Mario. It's a relatively convincing leak because we've not seen Mario in that pose before, we've not seen Palutena in that pose before, so it should be quite interesting to see if it's legitimate um, and I look forward to finding out more. I haven't played Kidicris Uprising so I don't really know what she's like but it's quite cool and it'd be cool to have more female characters who aren't just like princesses in distress although she might be. I don't have, haven't played the game but I imagine she's not. She looks like she can handle herself and more spellcasters as well because not very many of them so that's pretty sweet um, and as I say I'll embed the picture in the article and in the video if I can work out how. Um, I've never done any video editing before so yeah, that'll probably come across, but never mind. Um, mechanics of play then. The uh, story mode has been kind of loosely detailed for the 3DS version. Come out again to say that it's not going to be sort of like Subspace Emissary, which is, you know, fair enough, whatever. Shame, because I really like Subspace Emissary, but 
a lot of the joy of that is in the first time you play it and I guess that with you know leaks and all this kind of stuff happening never mind um, but there's a picture of the 3DS story and it's looking it's kind of hard to describe what's going on because it's a platformy stage so you wonder whether it's going to be like the um, adventure mode from Melee which is the one where you do lots of you just have individual levels and it's kind of time attack and I don't know, I guess we'll see. It's a shame it's not a sub subspace emissary, but if it means I can put more time into, you know, character creating and stuff, then I'm fine with that. Um, and I'll put that picture in the article as well, again, in the video, if I can work out how, which I might not be able to. This could be, well, the second most boring video on YouTube, the most boring one being Colin's IndyCast from last week. Um, so, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, what else has come out mechanics-wise? Um, trophies will be making a return. Um, this is really old news, it literally came out the day after I did the last podcast, but never mind. And trophies are kind of collectibles that you put coins towards, uh, coins which you earn from doing single player, multiplayer, that kind of bollocks. They don't really mean, um, they don't really mean a great deal, but they are quite cool to have and you can zoom in and they're all quite high def images and stuff. Um, at least they were on the other games. And they've not said how you'll buy them, because before you could do the lock, then after that the pinball. Uh, so we don't know how that's going to work, guess we'll see but in the 3DS version the trophies will be mainly from 3DS games in the co in the Wii U version it will be mainly from console games, so that's quite exciting um, and I guess yeah, we'll see, I don't know when they'll start telling us what's trophies and what isn't but you know, never mind, um, the only other mechanics of play is that the Luma shot uh, from Rosalina, more details on kind of how Rosalina is going to work um, and it looks like you can fire Luma off and then Luma can act independently of you or you can control it, her or he, I don't actually know, I think it's an it. Um, and we'll, you can kind of, so I guess you can operate as a kind of, you can just stick Rosalina somewhere really safe and then do lots of damage of Luma as a substitute. But anyway, um, the Luma shot, which looks really powerful, is where Rosalina fires Luma kind of across the level to be a part. And then you take control of Luma or you take control of Rosalina or, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out anyway. Um, so yeah, that's quite cool, mechanics of play. Uh, Nintendo goodies then, which is the section with kind of more um, assist trophies and levels and things like that and kind of what's going on. Um, shy, there's going to be Shy Guys driving down Rainbow Road, which is cool, which is a nice little feature. Um, shy Guys is obviously playable in Mario Kart DS, Mario Kart 8, um, if you do download play. I can't remember if they're in Mario Kart... Fuck, which Mario Kart is the Wii one? Anyway... Um, you can play them on the DS ones when you do download play, and that's quite cool. And they go like meep meep and all that bollocks. Um, so that'd be cool. Shy guys will drive down Rainbow Road. Um, Ashley from WarioWare is confirmed as an assist trophy, which is quite fun. Wario hasn't actually been confirmed yet, but you imagine he might be at some point, maybe, maybe I don't know. I guess we'll see. But Ashley from WarioWare is cool. The WarioWare level was really fun on Brawl. I liked that one a lot. Um, a lot of people. That I used to play with didn't get on with it so much, but that's because they never paid attention to the mini games, which I loved. So there we go. Um, Viridi from Kid Icarus uh, is a possible sort of stage hazard type thing. It's quite hard to make out, um, and this finally came out the day after the Palutena rumours. And uh, then you could see pictures of uh, this uh, Viridi character, who's like this kind of Earth Princess thing in Kid Icarus Uprising, I think. Um, looking badass, probably like a stage hazard, maybe an Kid Icarus Uprising stage, which would be quite cool. And um, in the Spirit Tracks level, which is the Legend of Zelda train uh, game that came out on DS, so then there's a train level in the 3DS version, when you are driving, um, not when you're driving, when Toon Link is in play, Alfonso from the Legend of Zelda series will take control of the train. Because this is funny, because when... Uh, when those pictures first came out, everyone was like, oh, Toonling won't be a playable character, because you can already see him in the train, it's just going to confuse people. So then that's kind of how they fix that, which is quite nice, and it'll make make it easier to track where people are and what's going on and stuff, which is good. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the only other thing is uh, the picture character sort of part of the podcast, which I'm trying to get off the ground, which basically um, I think it's cool to... Uh, play around with ideas and pitch characters and this is something I like to do with my friends a lot and it's something I'd like to do with you dear listeners so if you tweet me at handheld podcast uh, with possible ideas of characters you'd like to see in Smash Bros Wii U and 3DS that'd be really cool um, I just think it's fun to play around with ideas and which characters make sense which characters don't make sense um, and I actually skipped it last time because I'm an idiot but the time before that we talked about Banjo-Kazooie um, 
And I think my pitch for this week would be with Monster Hunter for Ultimate being confirmed for Japan, which we'll talk about in Heroes of Hand this week, I'm sure. Um, I think the Monster Hunter character would be really cool because you can imagine him using lots of different weapons. Um, so you can maybe his, I don't know, his straight smash, like his just B move, I guess, being like sword and shield. And then up B could be like a kind of long uh, heavy bow gun arc and then down B could be a hammer swing. You can imagine all sorts of cool setups um, and it would allow for you to bring in all of the monsters from Capcom's Monster Hunter series which would look really cool. So like uh, Rathlos could fly in as the final smash or you know Tigrex could uh, break up through the ground or something like that. I think that would be a really cool character. Um, and I I don't know, I just hope there's some Monster Hunter thing because there's, there's obviously quite good connections between Nintendo and Capcom with Mega Man being confirmed and stuff, so I guess we'll see. Um, but if you've got any ideas for a character pitch, you should get in touch with me, Chris, from Smashcast. You can get in touch by tweeting us at Handheld Podcast. Uh, you can write on our website, heroesofhandheld.com. You can email us, feedback at heroesofhandheld.com, or Con will kill me if I don't give this dress out, heroesofhandheld at gmail.com, and we'd love to hear from you. You can also watch us on YouTube if you search for Heroes of Handheld, um, and I'll put a link to the YouTube video in this. Um, yeah, thank you for listening. Sorry it's been a bit delayed this episode, but it's, you know, it's all good fun at the end of the day, isn't it? And I look forward to talking to you probably later on this week for Heroes of Handheld, and then in a couple of weeks' time with your Smashcast updates. Thank you for listening. Bye! podcast you've just listened to is from the Heroes of Handheld Network. For more information, go to www.heroesofhandheld.com. You can also find us on Twitter and iTunes. And don't forget, if you play handheld, you're a hero. Boom!